another late stream for me. You know, starting at 8 p.m. is not usually what I do. But yeah, no, it was another late dinner, so I had to kind of start late again. But I will go to 11 just to make up for that. Anyway, Chrono Trigger Part 2. So, uh, last time, Marl got kidnapped. Or she got flung through ta time. Then she got mistaken for the queen who had been kidnapped and they were searching for. Her. And apparently, her coming back in time and having them call off the search because they thought she was the queen then caused her to cease to exist, which would make no sense because then they would resume the search for the queen, but they're not doing that because time travel in this game makes no fucking sense at all. So anyway, Luca joined us somehow. We don't know how yet. I mean, unless you've played the game, then you know how. And then this frog-like dude named Frog joined us, and that is absolutely incredible. So yeah, we're gonna rescue the queen, and then probably do some other stuff. Again, this is not, it's not a new experience for me, but it's kind of different because I've only ever played the DS version of this game. So some of the menus are different, then some of the tr translation and the enemy names are different. But I suspect it'll be kind of the same experience regardless. Lift frog. Yeah, it's kind of funny how, uh... You had radical dreamers with with the with the French translation at the beginning, and now we're playing uh, Chrono Trigger, and there was there was the Le Frog joke from good old Vinny Vine Sauce's stream. It's good shit. I don't actually watch him as much as I used to. I still watch his Sunday streams, and I watch whenever he plays a game I'm interested in. But like, I used to watch every game he streamed for a while. And I'm kind of glad I stopped, because I feel like I was just kind of wasting time sitting around with a lot of his old other streams, and now it's more like, oh, I could just do other shit. Come back when I'm in new, uh, when playing something I'm interested in. Got a tonic, got a revive. Ah, uh, who could use it? Store's 50, alright. Well, like, we could hold that a little longer. So there's no, uh, there is no key item section in this version of the game, or maybe even in any. I don't remember if the DS one had a key item section, but the pendant is just hanging out here. <laughs> Alright, I remapped the uh, run to R. You pick and choose streams by game. I, well, see, when you first introduced me to Vinny... It was through the Corruptions, but that was like way back when the Corruptions were still like a new thing, and he was st like just starting to gain popularity from it. I would go to his, I would go to the Corruption streams, and then I think one time he started playing the Tingle game, and then that was like the first regular stream I saw of his. And I was kind of just in and out of a few streams for like about half a year. I think when he started uh, Pokemon X. That was when I started watching, like, every stream he did. Oh, it's a line move. I should have aimed for the guy in the back. Those five... Back on those 500 people streams. Yeah, I remember the first time Vinny got a thousand... Like, outside of a Sunday stream. And that was such a big deal at the time. Uh, hey, what's with the skies? No need for them here. It's almost my shift. I hate pretending to be a human. 
It's so repulsive. Uh, the ones we ate recently weren't so bad. And those two soldiers we uh, we caught look rather jump. And those two soldiers we caught look rather plump and juicy. Yuck was so smart. His plan to capture the Chancellor and take his place worked perfectly. Now the Queen's captive and the castle's in an uproar. This is rich. I'll look on Amagus' statue before my shift. Very interesting that they p add in these little, like, flavor rooms to give the enemies, like, a personality. There was no need for you to come and rescue me. Master Yakra is very kind. I've decided to stay here. Now why don't you make yourselves at home, too? How nice of you to come. I'm sure Yakko will be just as pleased. Why not rest in here until he's available? Are, are you here to save Queen Lean? Oh, what a relief. Don't be in such a hurry. Enjoy yourselves first. <laughs> <coughs> Hell yeah, Chrono Trigger. I love this game. All right, it's been a while. I forgot Frog's a bit of a healer, because he's a uh, water element. Chronos level up. Interesting way of wording it. Chronos level up. <laughs> Maiden suit, tonic, ether. Yeah, the way the ar the way the armor is kind of equipped in this game is a little weird because you got to go into the main menu, like the stat menu, to do it. Found the secret Naga et Bromide. Hey, everyone, humans! They're after the Bromide. Get them. I ever knew about that. God, Luca is powerful here. Probably because she has an elemental attack. These guys are just strong against, uh, physical. What do you learn? Slurp, cut, snag, and slash an enemy. See, again, I'm not used to these names. Like, slurp, I think, is the same. Slurp, cut is definitely not what it's called in the DS version. He could slurp himself. X-strike. Attack an enemy with X-strike. If I'm not mistaken, all dual, well no, not all dual, all triple techs involve Chrono, except the ones that you get by getting certain uh, accessories for them. The accessory ones are made to be used with three, like, random party members. H you're humans? They're hiding the queen in the back. Please rescue her. Oh shit, son. Power tab. 
Inside this building, there's a room dedicated to Magus. Heard something about a treasure there. Who needs that power boof? Boof? Boost? Um, Luca relies more on... Oh, well, I guess gun has a, a stat. Steel Saber. Now I feel bad giving that to Chrono because I just overpowered him for no reason. <laughs> Stop, intruders! Gek! Ow, ow. Dick. Attack an enemy with X strike. Hmm. Alright. It's the one where they both close in on an enemy at once. Is fairly forgiving. I should watch my MP. <laughs> oh. Hench. Not even a henchman, he's just a hench. He's a gender neutral hench. So you can tell I'm not really thinking my moves out too far. I'm just kind of mashing the A button on a lot of these earlier fights. But it's nice because the game lets you at, at the beginning. That's not what I meant to do. I was not looking where the cursor was. Yikes! That was powerful. Or not powerful, just knocked him back pretty far. No, no entry. Okay. We 
You love the combat in this. Yeah, it's really good. I like the way. Th Hello? Not gonna come down and fight? No, I guess not. Never had an SNES. Um, like I said, the first time I played this game was in 2008 on the DS. And if I had not known that this game existed before then, I would have thought the game had just come out then because the game felt so, like, new and fun and not very, like, outdated or anything. Yeah, this is on the DS. It's one of my favorite games. I actually have it right near where I'm sitting right now. In fact, I've only ever played the DS version till now. This is the first time I'm playing the Super Nintendo version. What? Oh, I pushed that already? Okay. No, stop it! I said that you can't... Huh? I'll say this. You know what you're doing. What? I don't know how much the SN or the DS version costs, but uh, I will say that I felt when I I paid forty bucks for it when it came out, and I feel it's well worth the price. Like I would gladly pay full full DS game price to play this. Just because it's so damn good. Damn it, Luca, speed the hell up. But yeah, the combat in this game is really cool, because it's... It's not really turn-based. And it's not... But it's also not exactly real-time either, and yet the position of your characters do matter position of the enemies and the characters, and it's really neat, because there's a level of strategy there that, while not necessarily required, does make the game more fun if you can master it. Also, I will say, the uh, DS version it does not lose anything on presentation, either. The game is just as beautiful as it is on the Super Nintendo, and unlike a lot of the Game Boy Advance ports of Final Fantasy games, uh, the music actually sounds almost exactly like the SNES versions, because they had Yasunori Mitsuda come in and redo the music, or remaster it, to play on the DS without any major degradation. Which I always thought was kind of a neat... A neat love letter to Chrono fans. And that's why you stock up on shelters. I think it's nice, like, see, I feel like... I said I wasn't gonna stream RPGs because I was on an RPG burnout, and I'm also streaming, or I'm also playing Persona 5 in my spare time. But both of, both this and Persona 5 are games with such, I'd say, polish and anti-frustration features that, um, it, it feels like, you know, like it's not a slog to play through it. Though I will say, Persona 5 has some annoying concepts to it. But not in, not in how the game is controls or anything, just more in how it's set up. You tried streaming Wild Arms and it crashed on you? 
Um, so I'm an, I'm an RPG burnout. Wild Arms is a shooter, though, isn't it? Ooh, nice slash and hypno wave. <laughs> slash attack. <laughs> Put enemies to sleep. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Oh, interesting. They're, uh, they don't get any more. I guess, uh, techs are kind of tied to level, too? I'm not sure. It's been a few years since I've played this. Nah, it's just set in Wild West Fantasy crossover type setting. Oh. Oh, no, you know what I'm thinking about? I'm thinking of, um... Fuck, what game am I thinking of? Maybe it is Wild Arms, I'm not sure. I played Live Alive, that game had a Wild West setting in it. And that was an RPG. Prepare yourself, Queen Lean. You! How did you get in here? Frog! Majesty, stand back and allow us the honor. Be careful. Also, the PS2 ones had some shoot shooting, haven't played them. I'm getting it confused with Wild Guns, I think. Which is a different game altogether. <laughs> it's useless to fight. No one will leave here alive. Stupid frog. It's time you jumped off this mortal coil. True form change. Reverts to Yakra. Oh, that wasn't the monster I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of the Hecran. I was like, oh, Yakra's the big thing with the... The big, the big worm. Also, first time we get to hear this awesome music. Dro. Ah. So physical attacks cause them to retaliate. Good to know. Or physical attacks, looks like. Again, the menus are a little different for me, because I'm used to playing the DS version where all the menus are on the bottom screen and nice and organized. Needle spin. Yakra's needle attack. Uh oh. Firewall's the way to go. Can't say since I've yet to play this game for myself, but here are some bits. Ah, oh, thanks, Lols. This game is great. You should play it. Like, as soon as you can. If you have not played Chrono Trigger, I recommend playing it by any means necessary. I mean, even just the inclusion of double and triple techs is so cool. It's just like, oh, neat. You can use multiple people's turns to unleash, like, a super powerful attack. That's awesome. That's something that, like, other RPGs at the time would never even think of doing. 
even from Square themselves. Got this year for DS, but I'm a dummy who still hasn't played it yet. I'm gonna do my best to get to it soon. I can't recommend it enough. The DS version is the way I experienced it. Like I said a bunch of times, the DS version is the way I first played the game. And I feel like it was a new game back then. Like, I feel like it didn't age a day. If I had not known... Oh, there, thank God. If I had not known that Chrono Trigger existed before 2008, I would have thought it came out in 2008. Because that's how good I felt the game was. came to rescue me! Thank you, frog! The king awaits! Let us return to the castle! I thank thee, Chrono, and Luca. Yes, thank you so much. Please join us. Uh, I want those chests first, hold on. Phew, thank you! That monster stuffed me in there! Oh, your highness, as I could see, as you could see, I am undamaged. mid ether Oh yeah, now I think it automatically... Oh wait, nope, never mind. Let us return to the castle. Later on, there's a segment where when you're leaving a room, it automatically fades out and takes you back to another area. You had me worried, Lean. I keep forgetting the king is young in this era. That no good Yakra impersonating me and kidnapping the queen. We must create a criminal justice system in this kingdom to do away with such fiends. I fail to protect Queen Lean. I hath disgraced thee. Frog. Thank you, Chrono, but, uh, who was that girl we found in the canyon? Your timing was perfect. Who knows what would have happened had you not saved me? By the way, where is that girl who was mistaken for me? Oh, yeah. I forgot all about Princess Nadia. Chrono, where did Princess Nadia disappear? She may still be there. Are we still beat up? Yeah, we are. Wow. Well, I will say, that is one thing I like about Secret of Mana better than this game. Fully refilling after every boss. She's back, and she's not wearing a dress this time. Huh? What happened? Princess Nadia. Chrono. It was awful. I can't recall at all. I was somewhere cold, dark, and lonely. Is that what it's like to die? Welcome back, Brack. Welcome back, Princess Nadia. You risked your life to help me too. Wait, Princess Nadia? Uh-oh. I guess you guys figured it out, huh? Sorry, Chrono. I didn't mean to deceive you. I'm Princess Nadia, my father's King Guardia the 31st. Alright, dude, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. I really enjoyed being with you at the fair. But if you had known my identity... Chrono, you wouldn't have shown me around the fair, right? Wrong! Oh, Chrono, that's why I like you! It's no wonder she falls for Chrono. She's probably the, he's probably the first guy he's, she's seen in, like, God knows how many years. The real queen's safe, right? 
So let's go home, Chrono. You're the real Queen Lean, huh? You really could be my twin. Well, you two better get along, or I'll be in big trouble. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Excuse me? Um, never mind. I guess it's time to go. Thank goodness you're safe. You may resemble Lean, but you sure don't act like her. Anyway, you've really helped me. Let me know how I can repay you. Wow, you could be Lean's twin! was fault of mine which endangered the queen. I shall depart for good. Eek! Indeed, your resemblance to the queen is uncanny. Chrono, you have potential to be a good swordsman. Hop, hop, hop. Froggy, you weren't such a bad guy either. You could come and go as you please from now on. You sure were lucky defeating Yakura and all. Babe, this wasn't luck. It was pure skill. Take a snooze? You bet your ass I will. Another interesting thing about this game is the fact that you're limited to a party of three party members. It's, it's a very unusual number. Especially in Square RPGs where you generally would have four... Oh no, I guess Secret of Mono was also three. Never mind, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. The weirdest RPG character limit, or party, is Final Fantasy IV, where you have five party members at once. And because of that, there's only two ways to separate your party. Three in the front, two in the back. Or two in the front, three in the back. And fuck, even that's not unusual, because I just realized that Etrian Odyssey has a five-member party system. With the same exact setup. Three in the front, two in the back, or two in the front, three in the back. Damn it. My bad facts are going to get me killed one day. I should probably, uh... Beef up uh, Marl a bit. I was gonna say Luca, but then I realized Marl's on the bottom slot. It's weird because I usually. Oh, you know why? Because you get Marl for a little bit at the beginning of the game. I was gonna say, I always have it ordered with Chrono, Marl, Luca, Frog, and then the other characters. Aura, Dual Aura, Aura Whirl. Okay, that's a good move. So she knows Aura. Uh, she needs to get Provoke. Do Aura Whirl, yeah, restores all allies' HP, some. That's a good group heal. It gets kind of overshadowed later when you could do multi-heal, but... It's definitely not the worst technique right now. I would say the worst technique right now is, uh, Luca's... Hypnosis, Hypno-Wave, because I never use that. <laughs> uh, wait, what am I... These menus. There we go. Up, 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 up. Boop, up, up, boop. What's the ribbon do? Strike plus two. Oh, uh, that's a hit rate. All right. And she uses bow, so hit rate is good for her. So the gang's all here. Uh, Bulma, Vegeta, and uh, I guess Launch from, from the original Dragon Ball. Again, that's just me poking fun of, uh, of Toriyama's art style. Which I love. Don't get me wrong, 
I love his art style. But there are definitely, like, you definitely see all the similarities between Chrono Trigger, Dragon Quest, and then the Dragon Ball series. And Dr. Slump, too. That's something I've been meaning to get into and never did. Just because I know it's kind of where, you know, it's not where Toriyama started, but it was definitely his big hit before Dragon Ball was a thing. You have five, five party members. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I just saw that message now. I mean, I'm trying to think, like, what games had different party member setups that are, like, unusual? Um, Persona, it's four party members. I think Persona 1 and 2 had a different system where you could have up to five. I'm not sure. But it seems 3, 4, and 5 are the, are the general norm. With 4 being the most common. Oh, Final Fantasy X also used three party members, okay. Wow, this asshole's going quite a bit. I don't know, um... I mean, one could say a game like... Hmm... I mean, there's chapters in Live Alive where you only had one party member. That could count. Mario and Luigi, Superstar Saga, you had four, or you had two. Partners in Time, you had four, which could split into two parties of two. Bowser's Inside Story, you had two, and then another party of just Bowser, and then Bowser could switch battles into Mario and Luigi. Dream Team, you had Mario and Luigi, and then you also had Mario fused with Dream Luigi, which, if you've never played the game, it's not as weird as it sounds. And then in Paper Mar and then Paper Jam, you had three party members because you had Paper Mario. So again, I guess party member limit is really subjective. We've had one through five. I'm sure there are RPGs where you have six party members to begin with. And I don't mean like strategy RPGs, because like then you know you have Fire Emblem where you could start with like ten units on the field. I mean, there's also a. Uh at the end of Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse, there's a situation where you have two parties fighting at the same time, and you technically have eight party members. But again, that's more two parties taking switching out each turn. How do we get home? Your Highness, er, Princess, we... Please call me Marl. Well then, Marl, observe. Genius. Wow. Luca, you're amazing. <laughs> Ain't it the truth? Oh, um, I mean... Enough of the false modesty. You have a real gift. I would trade my royal ancestry for your genius in a heartbeat. Yo. Well, if you say so. Anyway, I call this thing a gate. It's a kind of a portal that takes you to the same location in a different era. Gates are very unstable, so I use the principle behind my telepod device to create a gate key. Now we can use them as we please. But why did this gate suddenly appear? Either the telepod had something to do with it, or something else made it. This is getting pretty weird. Let's at least head back to our own time. So fun fact, there's actually two layers to this uh, portal. If you've seen... Um, she says his boundary bake, boundary bake, we could bake some boundaries, um, boundary break episode on Chrono Trigger. There's actually, if you look around the rim of this portal, you see kind of like a white thing pulsating around it. That's actually a completely separate layer of like clouds floating behind the portal layer. All right, coming Chrono. I actually do not have Jack Frost in Persona 5 yet. I should probably remedy that. I have Pyro Jack, who for some reason is renamed Jack O' Lantern. I don't know why they did that. I need Jack Frost, and I need to get Black Frost, and then I could get King Frost. Or is it the other way around? 
I think it's King Frost to make Black Frost. I don't know. Phew. We're back. Chrono, Luca, why don't you come home with me to the castle? I'd like you to come over for dinner. Sorry for putting you through all that, Marl. Now, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna moonwalk here for a second. Are you joking? That's the most fun I've had in months. And I have some new friends, too. Chrono, be a gentleman and take her home. I've got some work to do. See you soon, Luca. Will you escort me home, Chrono? Can I go back through this? Oh, you can. That's weird. I don't have the key, so... Fun fact, if you're playing the DS version of this game... And, uh... It's pirate. If you're playing a pirated version of the DS... Pirate copy of the DS version... Uh, the first time you go into a time portal, it just stays on that screen forever. The merchants went back to their warehouse to stock up on more goods. Hey there, bro. Nah, wow, that silver point exchange is so bad. Spooky! This is a good way to get points quick. Again, it's near impossible to do this without a turbo controller. It's also the quickest way to earn... Actually, no! I think Gato is still quicker at this point. Especially now that, um... Especially now that I'm powerful enough to probably take him out in, like, two hits. drops a tech point, too. Probably noticed that last night and didn't say anything. Anyway, farming silver points is kind of necessary later in the game. Even though they're only used here. There is a reason behind it. And that's this tent over here. We're not going to go in there just yet, though. We'll save that for later. So yeah, I briefly mentioned the other night, but the technology in 1000 AD in this game is pretty advanced for us, like, you know, comparing it to real world times, especially since they use AD and BC. Because you have stoves, you have sinks, you have um, refrigerators and radios, which means there's someone broadcasting stuff. You have, well, wood clocks, I guess, would have existed by then. Um... But I mean, also, you compare it to Chrono Cross, which takes place, I think, a 10, or 1010 AD, and they already have, like, rock and roll at that point. You have, like, rock stars using friggin' electric guitars and stuff. So... Eh. It's a very odd level of technology. Hmm... Two-legged, walking humanoid robots are virtually impossible to create. Oh, Chrono. Oh, Chrono! Hurry up and escort the princess to the castle! Luca and Tabin only care about their silly toys. 
is what we earned today. You're so thoughtful. <laughs> they only care about the toys. Meanwhile, they come back and, and immediately uh, give you what they earned. You're Luca's friend, right? Oh, well, later in the game he starts developing uh, special gear for Luca, I believe. Kind of ridiculous how they build the castle to this kingdom past a large forest. Then again, I guess it's been like that since 600 AD, so... I... I had a vague recollection of that being there, but I didn't explicitly remember that. Hitake. Oh, like shiitake. Because these mushrooms. Be apples. I think there's a way to... Uh, there we go. I was gonna say, there's a way to get that bird to, like, summon enemies. Avian Chaos. Approaching Guardia Castle. Okay, castle. No trespassing. No trespassing. An open field lies ahead. See, this field isn't here in 600 AD, so that box is... Actually, no, the box, I believe, is there in 600 AD. It's really weird that the, the topography of the map kind of changes a bit. Princess Nadia. I like how the guards in 1000 AD are kind of like more modernized. They don't wear helms, they just have kind of like military outfits. Are you alright? Where have you been? I heard you were abducted. We had soldiers searching for you. Scoundrel, you're the one, huh? 
kidnapping Princess Nadia. No, Kronos... Admit it, you confused her and tried to take over the throne, terrorist! S stop it! Stop this at once! What are you doing? P Princess Nadia said to... Idiots, detain him! Chrono! Ah, oh, the music in the sex this part is so good. And, and this is such a beautiful room, you don't get to see it a lot. You only get to see it, I think, two or three times in the entire game. I'm the Chancellor, the Prosecutor. I'm the Lawyer, Pierre. Members of the court, we now bring forth the defendant, Chrono, who is charged with abducting Princess Nadia. Douche. Chancellor Douche. What shall he do with what shall we do with him? Fire perhaps? Hang him upside down for a few years? Or shall we employ the guillotine? The guillotine. You, the jury, shall decide his fate. Now let us begin. Joke's on you, bitch. I didn't do anything wrong. Chrono. Chrono, you are hereby ordered to tell the truth. Chrono is charged with premeditated abduction of royalty. The question is, did he kidnap Princess Nadia? The answer? No, he did not. In fact, no abduction took place. The two met completely by accident. In fact, the princess asked Chrono if she could join him. Is this true? Who actually started this whole mess? Are you sure? We have witnesses who will say you were the one who bumped into the princess. Hey. Ouch, that hurt. The princess then immediately followed you to Luca's little sideshow. Whereupon you both disappeared. If that wasn't criminal abduction, I don't know what is. And I have the facts that throw the defendant's character into question. Objection! This can't have any relevance to whatsoever to this case. Care to respond, Chancellor? Chrono's character is at the very core of this case. We have nothing to hide. We have a witness. A little girl who will vouch for the character of the defendant. This nice man. He brought me my kitty. Thank you for being so kind. What about that? Doesn't this young man deserve a medal? Whew. Looks like they're buying it. The issue here is motive. Was there any motive for this fine citizen to kidnap Princess Nadia? No. There was none. What about Ransom? Chrono, her fortune did tempt you, did it not? Are you sure? You weren't really tempted? Not at all. That's enough. I have no more questions. It is evident. Is it. Did it, did it <laughs> excuse me. It is evident that my client is a fine, noble young man. Your Honor, the defense rests. Members of the jury, if he is guilty, stand to the left. If innocent, stand to the right. Not guilty. Not guilty. I think I got one guilty because I ran into Nadia. I'm not sure how that works. Not guilty. If you don't help with the kitty, if you try to run from the, um... If you try to walk away while she's buying candy, if you try to sell the, am uh, the pendant, and I believe if you eat the old man's lunch, that all... Brings uh, guilty verdicts against you. It really doesn't matter, though. It's the same outcome either way. Not guilty. Not guilty. 
Hey, look at that. Guilty. Asshole. Order in the court. A verdict has been reached. The verdict is not guilty. But the fact remains that even if he did not kidnap her, he ran off with her. Three days solitary confinement as punishment. Take him away. Now just a darn minute, princess. That's enough, my dear. But father, all I asked for you was to behave like a princess. Even royalty must obey rules. Leave the rest up to the chancellor and forget about the, about the, 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 the leave the rest up to the chancellor and forget about the events in town. We're leaving. Chrono. Cro no. Terrorist has tried to overthrow our kingdom. He's been found guilty, and now you must carry out his sentence. So this is the monster who kidnapped the princess. The execution is three days away. Do not let him out of your sight. Execution? Strange, but I don't seem to recall hearing anything about an execution. What? How dare you question me? The paperwork's probably just been held up in the system. Understood, sir. Guards! Take the prisoner away. Ow! Can't we go straight up and kick his butt? Nah, that wouldn't work. HP and MP recovered. Neat. Some sympathizers brought that stuff for you, you lousy felon. Got one ether. It's nice of them to let me just keep my shit. Two days until the execution. Pipe down. Pipe down. Knock it off. Oh, I'll show him. Open it up. That's what you get for misbehaving. Where do you think you're going? Yeah, you just killed that guard. It's kind of fucked up, dude. There's a way to get in there, but I forget how. Mid-tonic, mid-tonic, ether, ether. Yo, what up? So you're the escaped con. 
How'd they know? Omnicrone. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, you missed, you bastard. They don't pay me enough for this. So these enemies are neat because you have to time your hit on them properly. You can't hit them while their shield is up. However, when their shield is down, they're weak as shit. Yo, kind of fucked up that Guardia just keeps a skeleton in one of the fucking cells. With its spirit just floating around. I forget how to get into those other cells. So I keep thinking this is like Bravely Default, where you can just kind of find hidden passageways on the walls. Prisoners escaping. Got to be some spooks in this game. No, but it's it's not. It's the fact that it's in Guardia Castle in the present day. It's like wow, are you guys that barbaric that you just. Like, let that happen. You just leave that there. He passed out. Received a mid tonic. Help me! Save him? Hell yeah, I will. You're a lifesaver. I'm Fritz. My dad runs a store in Truce Village. Stop by if you're in the area. Oh, I already have a bronze mail. Burns mail. How long has it been in there, though? I don't know, but they should send a cleanup crew. Friggin' clean that shit up. Then again, they just had a guy stuck to the gu guillotine, so... What the fuck do I know?
Whoops. Bronze, I thought it said booze. Booze armor. It's powered by alcohol. That's kind of fucked up. That they left, like, a hooded figure in there. So long, it turns into a friggin' skeleton. A skeleton. It's a spooky skeleton. Oh, shit. Automatically. Let me target the wrong guy. How... It's kind of weird because it's like you could just kind of climb up and down wherever. It's a shelter. Here we go. A lot of gold and a load sword, which I don't think is any use right now. Oh no, it is. I was going to say, doesn't that, uh, greatly underpower? I'm thinking of the glitch sword, which, which is, uses part of the load sword with it. I'm sure everyone knows about that special thing now, though, that glitchy sword. That shows up towards the end of the game. And what it is, is it's the name of the first two weapons, which are... Wooden sword and uh, the load sword, and they're just kind of mashed together. And the weapon is very weak because it's like a dummied out item. Chrono, why don't you just hit them from behind? Yo do day. Yo How do you The prisoner's escaping. Let's move back a bit so he has more room to fight. Help! Chrono, I've come to save you. Gee, looks like you didn't need my help after all. Let's blow this joint. He passed out. Received the mid-tonic. Amazing, you found five of them. 
Top secret document has been left behind on the floor. Care to read it? To the prison supervisor. Dragon tank owner's manual. Tank head repairs body damage. It contains a shield that prevents it from damage by lightning and fire. Unless the head can be defeated, the tank is unbeatable. Guardia R&D. Silly, so you can't open the, uh... Oh, maybe I wasn't on it. That's why. Also, the game keeps track of my saves, so... If I double save, it's just gonna go up by two. What was that? That's what. Oh, a dragon tank, crush those rebels! God, what? I've forgotten how to fight this thing. I think you go for the head first. It's taking damage. Energy is stored in the wheels. Is that like P is stored in the balls? Because those are both true statements. There we go. Best be helioing. No, not mid ether. Oh no 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 no! You weren't supposed to attack then. They're both dead. I lost. That was kind of unfair. I didn't get enough time to do the menus. doing that, that's fine. Pray to R and Jesus. No, it's just I wasn't quick enough.
Okay, the wheel's gone. Ow. All right, and it's down. I like how Chrono gets up and uses the lightning attack on it, even though he doesn't have any lightning techs yet. We got the dragon tank! Fix it quickly! It's just, uh... Don't fool yourselves into thinking you've gotten away with this! Reno. There's a chest back there, but it's already open. Fun fact, um, all the chests that are behind, like, unpassable walls and stuff, and, like, the shops and stuff like that, they're all, uh, they're all non-functioning. They're escaping! We have no choice but to break through. Stop! Princess Nadia! This is my friend! Show him some respect! Excuse me. I misread that completely. B but Can't you take orders? Uh, of course! Hold it right there! Oh. Hold it right there! Do as King Guardia 33 says. King Guardia the 33rd. Father. Silence, Princess Nadia. The throne comes before your personal wishes. What? Just because I have a title doesn't mean I'm not a person. You pick up strange ideas venturing outside. I didn't pick up anything. It's called common sense. Princess Nadia. I despise you. I'm leaving. Princess Nadia! Come on, Chrono. And Luca just kind of dates out. Don't just stand there. After them! Princess Nadia. There they are. Don't lose them. Why did we run to the right? There's no escape. Silence. Hey, that wasn't here before. Looks like a dead end. A gate! It's a gate. Come on. But we don't know where it'll take us. Wait a second. Sorry. Who cares? This place stinks anyway. It's Nadia! This is completely irrational. Hurry, Chrono. Let's just move away from that hoodlum.
Later, bitches. They d disappeared. Unfreaking believable. Ugh. Eek. Whoop. Ouch. There's no way the Chancellor can reach us here. He's long dead. But where are we? The civilization here seems so advanced. Like we're in another world. Strange crest is engraved here. It's sealed by some kind of power. Banghor Dome. Also, can I just point out that I'm not on the world map in the same spot that I was in when I left? Where am I? Maybe I am. Maybe Guardia is kind of right there. The land masses have definitely shifted a bit. Trandome. Got any cash? No. Got nothing for you fools. Call this money? Oh well, I have some good stuff. Wow, I got a lot of money. Uh, Marl can use the boost. Actually, fuck it, they can't, they all can. Save money. It'll do you good. That's my motto. Find some food at Aris Dome to the northeast, but only if you get past Lab 16. The beasts there don't let react to weapons, like guns and swords. True Stone? Never heard of it. This is Tran Dome. I guess it makes sense, because Truce Village. Poor. Whatever. Kingdom? What are you talking about? If you're looking for food, you lose. This is an Enertron. You get a full night's sleep in just a few seconds, but it still leaves you hungry. Will you rest in the Enertron? HP MP restored. But you're still hungry. There's actually an Enertron in Chrono Cross, and when you use it, it gives you the same message. Lab 16. I remember the the dungeons here aren't very fun. The sewer the sewer's okay, but uh, the lab 16 area isn't that great. It's, it's very big and open. It reminds me of like a Final Fantasy 7 uh, dungeon. Just less confusing.
Don't react to guns and swords, eh? Well, I took him down pretty easily. Stole a tonic. All right, the rats you don't actually fight. They just steal shit from you. That's one of the reasons why I hate this area. Mall's not doing much damage. In Chrono Trigger DS, one of the post-game weapons for Marl. Well, which is really more like her ultimate weapon. Aw, oh, why is the emulator doing that? Her ultimate weapon is a, a, gun, a bow that always does 777 damage. Which isn't amazing, but it's also really good because... Her damage output's never that great to begin with. Got a Berserker. What? Oh. Auto attack, hit and defense up. Oh, so that'll make you uncontrollable. But it'll make your uh, stats higher. Chrono, the absolute beast. Another load sword. Why would I need more than one? The game gives you one in the last area. That's what I already have equipped to him. Asshole, stop stealing my tonics. Load bow. You fuck. That's right, they didn't actually sell a better weapon for... for... Marl. You gotta have so many of them. Dare you refill your health. I hate when enemies heal. It feels like it's a kick in the face. Like they're taking all the effort you put out and just saying, you know what, fuck you. We're undoing all of it. That's how I always feel about healing in games. Just a stall tactic. Just like using, uh... Protect and detect in Pokemon. Or fake out. Ugh, fake out. This is where we start having to use the techs. These guys don't take damage from, uh, 
swords, I think. Or they don't they don't take heavy damage from uh non-elemental attacks. I can't remember how it works. And you have these weirdos. Yeah, these enemies only have 1 HP, but uh, regular weapon attacks do nothing to it, or they miss completely. That's how it works. Which means essentially Luca is the only one that can take him out right now, because she's the only one with an elemental attack. God, I love the concept behind Aura Whirl, that she- that it's literally Chrono jumping into a healing spell and just swinging his sword around to, like, spread the healing. Such a cool, uh... Such a cool idea. Marl learned Provoke. Confuse enemy. Okay. A lot of HP. Why didn't you want to fight me? <laughs> Nowhere near as bad as I thought. Sewer access, we don't want to go there yet. Aris Dome. Some good music. I'd say this this is right up there with uh, Under the Rotting Pizza as like some of the best like sinister Square Enix music. came from the laboratories to the west. Well, what? Hey, we've got people who crossed the ruins! Say again? Hold on one second. You're joking! So there are people who could beat up those freaky mutants. Uh, oh, okay. Gave me control back. 
Yeah. Uh, if there's one thing to criticize about this game, it doesn't tell you when you have control back of your characters. Though most games don't. Daddy's gonna bring us some food. My husband went down to the food storage area below. I haven't seen him since. Did you really come from the dome to the west? I see. Not that I really care. A time portal? What in the... Well, I guess we could get our own information using our computer. Uh, pardon me, I'm Doan. I'm the descendant of the director of this info center. In the basement, there's a huge computer and a storage center for food. But we can't get through because of the robot guards. It's a pity. Yeah, I know. There's an old factory site called Protodome to the east. Can't get near it because there's a bunch of lunatic robots in the area. You can reach the continent to the south through the sewer access, but stay off of Death Peak. There's an old man living in a dome near Death Peak. Talk about crackpots. The door with the crest? Dynamite won't budge it. Any money? You sure this is money? Oh well, I have to lighten my inventory anyway. Uh, we're pretty good right now. Sell that extra load sword for a cool 2G. That's what the guy who walked to the other dome used to say. I hate wise guys. I just realized it, it unpaired uh, the way I wanted them. My team arranged again. Are you going down below? Of course. No one's ever returned from there. Gotta try, right? It's nice to see such young spirited people for a change. Careful now, and come back alive. Console controls the passageway. We need a password to get through. Looks like a statue. A memo is attached to it. Warning, anyone within the vicinity of the stock room will be attacked. Huh. I wonder what that means. I'm getting this area confused with the area from Final Fantasy VI. Right, this thing. Executing program. Chrono, what's going on? Marl, let's go! Okay, so three can join together for a Delta attack. Ooh. Square Enix and their patented SNES triangles.
Amplifier? Oh no. And that wasn't Amplifier, it was Amplifier. Like, it's a play on words. Clever. Clever bot. Revives the bit. Alright, well, that's not too bad. I thought it was gonna attack us. I think something else about the DS version of this game that I like slightly more than this is that, um... I don't believe the menus stop working when attack animations are playing out. Like, if you have attack options open on the bottom screen and you haven't used them yet, you could still select them while the other characters are making their moves. I'm not entirely sure on that, though. I'll have to check. I kind of don't want to load up Chrono Trigger on the DS, though, because I'm just going to be like, man, I wish I was playing the DS version. But I can't stream that, so... Breakdown. The shit has been dropped down. Phew, something reeks. Everything's completely rotten. The refrigeration must have failed. Oh no, look. Passed away long ago, I suppose. He's holding something. What do you suppose this is? It looks like some kind of seed. A seed? Do you suppose it could grow in a place like this? Mid eater. Falling is written on a soiled sheet of paper. The rat is more than just a statue. It knows the secret of this dome. Catch it. There, there it is. Shh. It might run away. Dash with the B button. Catch with the A button. I actually have the dash set to R. Got it. Squeak! I give up. I'll tell you everything. Squeak! Press and hold the L and R buttons, then press A to access the secret passage. Squeak! Don't make any mistakes or you'll be sorry. I like how the filter disappears whenever they gotta shoot something.
Grab us a mid ether. Ethers in this game aren't too rare, which is kind of surprising. Usually, Final Fantasy games, the magic refilling items are a little on the uh, pricey side. A friggin' bug has psychic abilities. It's a psychic bug. Since I did that, I keep forgetting I can do it too. <laughs> Proto two. It's kind of fucked up when you think about how all these robots and stuff are implied to be Lucas creations. Like, she's implied to be a, the, the, essentially the mother of everything here. I mean, not those things, but... Robots. I guess the implication is that this ro robot attacks anything that moves. That's why I'd attack the enemy first. Yeah, it's kind of weird when they get into position sometimes because some enemies or some characters will just walk straight through the environment. But, you know, it saves time. It's better than waiting for them to walk around corners. It's kind of pointless coming over here too because that door is not opening anytime soon. 
That is a way later in the game thing. I had to do the same thing. I told Eleanor while pressing A there. So this is the info center. Good. The computer's still operational. If we run a search on time warps, we might find our gate. Here. Got it. East of Aris Dome. Boop. Ah, that was my arm. That would be Protodome, I believe. Leave it to Luca. I'm beginning to think you could find anything with this device. Say, what does this button do? Nineteen ninety nine AD Visual Record of the Day of Lavos Yeah, the world gets pretty fucked up. But here's my question. Why were they living in domes at that point if technology... If, like, the world was good? What... What is that? Lavos? Is that what's destroying our world? We must truly be in the future. No. No way. I refuse to believe it. This... This can't be the way the world ends. Chrono. There's only one thing we can do. We must change history. Just like Chrono did when he saved me. Okay, Luca? Okay, Chrono? I... guess so. It was a stroke of luck that we were sent here through that gate. Chrono, let's go. Okay. Chrono, Luca, together we can do this. Let's take a second and do some more research on Lavos' activities back in our time period. How do we even know what Lavos is? Next stop, Protodome. Oops. I didn't mean to show that. It's gonna speed this whole thing again. Yeah. a little shiny spot on that one. You're back. Well, what did you discover? This is our future. Huh. Who cares? Where's the food? 
This is all we can get. Seeds. You don't know how long the Enertron will hold out. Those seeds might be your only hope. You have to stay alive, and so do we. Huh. You're strange. You're different from us. I think it's because we're healthy. Healthy? It's got a nice ring to it. We'll try growing the seeds. What are those? They just might be our future. Heading for Protodome? Go by the way of Laboratory 32 and take this with ya. Got one bike key. It's a key to the jet bike in Lab 32. I used to ride it when I was young. Hope it still works. They've got more powerful robots over there. Take care and stay... healthy. Daddy's sure taking his time. Oh, We're not gonna tell him? You can reach the continent to the south... Oh, wait, yeah, we already know that. My husband, he's... He's gone. But he left me precious gifts. The seeds. And our child. I'm pretty sure all three of us aren't supposed to squeeze into a single Enertron. point to going in the sewer yet? I don't think so. I think you can. You can, but... Bandits! Must report to Sir Crawile. Crawile. Crawile? Yeah, we don't need to be down here yet. Got a mid-tonic. Seems like a fight, but it isn't. Hold it right there. Hey, it's the man. Like, thanks for the intro, babe. The man. You lowlifes can call me Johnny. Now listen up. Part of an old highway leads to these ruins. Think you could beat me in a bike race? Use that jet bike, and don't chicken out, babe. Do you know how to ride? Alright, listen up. Gas is on auto, so there's only one speed. Fast. Use the control pad to steer. Press the B button for a turbo boost. I'll give you three of them, but it takes a moment to recharge between boosts. Check your position at the bottom of the screen. Now show me what you got, babe. The man rides like a roller coaster. Winning does that to Johnny's hair. Oh boy. The fun racing segment. It's actually pretty easy. It's gotta be at the end. You just gotta be ahead of him towards the end. Oh fuck. I boosted right into him. You're worthless. Give it up. Go home. <laughs> what losers. You can walk your cray across. That's Monster City. Right again if you could think you could handle it, chump. You can actually just walk across. There's like another dungeon here.
It's not really a race as much as it is just kind of block them. And of course they have like the Mode 7 fucking victory lap. You beat me. I don't get it. You could challenge me anytime. We'll ride the wind, babe. Prota Dome. Not in range to hit all of them. sucks. So why? Why does this emulator do that? this it's in bad shape but it appears to be a humanoid robot incredible I think I could fix it what it might attack us I'll make sure it won't machines aren't capable of evil humans make them that way Luca, you pity them, don't you? Let me get to work now, okay? The door won't budge. Right, that does it. I'm going to give it some juice. morning. More. Good morning, mistress. What is your command? I'm not your mistress. I'm Marl. And this is Chrono. And Luca here fixed you. Understood. Adam Luca fixed me. Just Luca will do. Impossible. That would be rude. Look, I hate formal titles. Don't you, Marl? Hate him. I understand, Luca. Alright, now what's your name? Name? Ah, my serial number. It is R66-Y. R66-Y? Cool. No, that won't do at all. Come on, Chrono, let's give him a better name. Let's go on with Robo. Robo. Robo, that's perfect. Your new name is Robo, okay? 
I am Robo. Data storage complete. Hey, Robo, why aren't there any people around here? What... what has happened here? There were many humans and others of my kind in this dome. I think something awful happened here. It would appear so. But how is it that you survived? We came to a time warp from the year 1000. While exploring Aristome, we learned there was a gate here. We found you when we came looking for the gate. But the door to the inner chambers is locked, so we're out of luck. Sorry, my controller got wrapped up in shit here, and I'm getting frustrated trying to get it fixed. There we go. That always happens. Power is off. If we go to the factory up north, I can pass through security and activate this dome's generator. You do that for us? You repaired me. Now it is my turn to help you. But the generator won't run for, lo run for long, so someone must stay behind to open the door while the power's on. Then Marl or I will stay. Who will stay behind? Uh... Does Krobo have his healing ability yet? You know what? Yeah, Luca should probably stay behind. Right, I'll handle things here. I don't know, here he, is, here he has Cure Beam. Looks like you need my genius after all. Hi, I was getting so bored. May I take Luca's place? No. Okay, I'll wait here. No element. Because he's artificial. Override security system zero zero. Tripping on acid, yo. So these enemies only take a couple damage and they only have ten HP, so kinda weird. But they're generally worse than higher HP enemies because they're almost never guaranteed to go down in one hit. <clears throat> I think that using a certain element on them uh, does kill them quicker, though. I am going to sneeze. Shit. Oof. I'm just kind of fucking, fucking around here now, and I'm losing health. <laughs> That was a bad sneeze.
Left, lab area. Right, factory area. Caution. Do not turn off the conveyor belts in the factory. The security system will activate and you will be in danger. Ether in there. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, this area is kind of annoying. A lot of the future area is probably like my least favorite of the part of the game. All the dungeons are kind of bland, they're annoying. Uh, some of the puzzles are kind of weird. Hell, even Death Mountain isn't that great in my opinion. that happens every time I stream now. I think this computer's just starting to wear down already. It was never really that great to begin with. But hopefully within the next year, I'll be getting not a new one, but a really good, like, high-end used one. I'm not too sure on that yet, though. I really hope it's true, because that'll open up so many more streaming opportunities. Heal up soon. Oh, you know why they can't learn more? Because I think they need to get magic first, and that doesn't happen until, uh, I believe after this scenario.
Ukraine control code, code 01, XA, code 01, or code 00, XA, code 01, BB. Zab. Proto 3. That's way too much proto. At this point, we should be in, uh, we should be in alpha or beta. I believe, um, Mario & Luigi Dream Team for the 3DS was in development for so long that it had an alpha, a beta, and a gamma version of it. They actually had three pre-release versions of the game, because apparently they had to rework it a bunch of times. Like, apparently, um... Apparently Dream Team was in development from before Bowser's Inside Story came out in America. Which is ridiculous, because that's like... Four years before the game came, it came out in 2013. Bowser's Inside Story was 2009. So that game was being worked on for over four years before it actually came out. And apparently it went through, like, complete redesigns. So it actually had more than two, like, pre-builds for it. Pre-release builds. ZXABB. So that'd be Y... YBAA. Okay. Yeah, baby. How are you supposed to know to come over here, though? Like, there's like a tiny green arrow. tiny arrow on the ground that points you in this direction in the previous room and it's like man no normal person would see that Last defense lock code named Zabby. Translation X A B Y. Wait, what? That's X A B Y. Oh, X A B Y, Zabby. I get it. Just like I did before with Zab. I can't believe I made the same reference and then I, f I didn't get one the game did it themselves.
Robin bow. That's for Marl. Kind of tired. There's a little switch in the background behind the uh, green elevators actually moves when you step on them. So acid and alkaline. Wondering if this will do anything. No, it does next to nothing. Chemically fused with other members. All right. I think that kills both of them, though. Or not. Come on. So these guys are just a pain in the ass, then. Open hatch. Again, they only show up one at a time. Not too bad. Those take normal damage. Acid does not. So you gotta kill the alkalines first and then worry about acid. Then there's this asshole. There's probably some trick to beating it that I'm not getting. <laughs> Titan vest. Interesting. Interesting. Can be used by anyone. 32 defense.
Hammer arm, that's for Robo. All systems down. Defense lasers are off. But now we gotta deal with these assholes. Now it's just a matter of grinding our way to these guys. And that's all of them. Up, down, or cancel. Oh, how much longer is this place? Oh, okay. Very odd how there's um two ways to get down here and you don't need to so you don't need to deactivate the lasers at all. Plasma gun. Well, I picked a uh, well, I guess Marl got a weapon here too, so Door lock system Zabby operational. Enter password. Emergency. Security system has gone haywire. Must escape immediately. Get the fuck out of here. Hurry, now. Okay. Emergency elevator shut off. Oh, that's why there's another way up. Th these are my friends. R's dash six four Y, R dash six seven Y, and R dash six nine Y. It's good to see you. What? 
What are you doing? You are defective. You have been tainted. Pardon? I'm malfunctioning? Affirmative. A defect. I'm a defect. Have you forgotten our mission? All intruders must be eliminated. That was my purpose? You shame us. You must be destroyed. Wha- What are you doing? Doesn't matter what you can do. Please, stop. Please. No, stop. These are my brothers. Robo! Now to take care of the intruders. No. Let's take care of you. Our series. Part is kind of that part is pretty sad, and it gets sadder too. Robo is like one of the saddest backstories in the game. Like especially when you get into his like post or his like end game stories, those are pretty sad too. some healing. Nope, never mind. He's just flat out dead at this point. Oh my god. Why is Luca so slow? Come on, Luca. Let's pull it out. Oh, that's right. It only revives you with 50 health. Oh, that's good shit. So Luca's dead now, probably. Yeah, boy! Yeah! Oh, we're dead. We're all dead. Everyone's dead. If I just, uh, wipe a couple of these out first, we'll be okay. Okay, we're good now. So far, we're keeping our failures to one game over per stream.
Robo. They trashed him. He's in bad shape. I'm not sure I can fix him. Let's get him back to Protodome for now. Can you re repair me? Shh, don't talk. You are trying to save our world. I don't know how far we'll get, but that's the plan. Anyway, Robo, what are you going to do when you're repaired? What am I going to do? Yeah, I mean, what plans do you have for the future? Luca, no one has ever asked me that before. Good morning. Robo, you're alright. Luca, you're incredible. I hope I never have to do that again. Luca, I have made my mind up. Made up my mind, excuse me. I don't know why I read it that way. I want to go with you. Pardon? There is nothing left for me here. Together, maybe we can give this planet of ours a chance. And then let's go. The gate's up ahead. Hang on to your shorts. None of us are wearing shorts except you, Luca. Are we? It's locked shut. Uh, more guests. What do you mean, guest? And where are we? Why, this is the end of time, of course. All lost travelers in time wind up here. Now, where are you from? We're from Guardia Kingdom, circa 1000 AD. I come from 2300 AD. When four or more beings step into a time warp, the conservation of time theorem states that they will turn up at the space-time coordinates of least resistance. Here. Disturbances in the space-time continuum have increased recently. Far too many folks are just popping in here. I fear something is having a powerful effect on the very fabric of time. Which means one of us has to remain here. Stay here alone? It's pretty bleak here. But not to worry, all time periods connect here. You can visit your friends whenever you wish, but you can never travel in groups greater than three. So one of us must stay. Who'll 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 it be? God, that's a hard sentence to actually read. Who will it be? Who will be? Who will it be, Chrono? Uh oh dear. Oh dear, who am I leaving behind? Um, Robo's muscle will probably come in handy, but ah, uh, moral healing. You, who will be? Oh, welcome back. I'm probably gonna go for another thirty minutes or so. Well, oh no, everyone's gonna be able to learn text now. Uh. We'll just keep it as is right now, because I gotta... Please come for me whenever you need me. So there you have it. Don't forget, press the Y button to switch party members. All oh, right, I could switch whenever I want. I don't have to wait, come back here. How do we get back to our own time? You see those lovely pillars of light? 
Those hook you up to different eras. Once you've been to a gate, you can always use it to come here. To use a gate from here, step into the light and press the A button. But beware the gate which leads from that bucket. Hey. Don't be in such a rush. Before you go, take a peek inside the room behind me. What are you looking at? I'm Speccio, Master of War. I've seen all kinds of battles from here. How do I look to you guys? I see. Let's put it this way. If you're strong, I look strong. If you're weak, I look weak. You are strong of will. That's why the old one let you through. Long before you were born, there was a kingdom where magic flourished. Everyone there could use it. But in time, people began to abuse their powers. It got so bad that no one was allowed to use magic except the wizards. But you have it. Determination, I mean. Magic needs power of the heart. It needs inner strength. Magic is divided into four types. Lightning, fire, water, and shadow. You with the punk hairdo, you're lightning. The one with the ponytail is water. The one with the goofy glasses is fire. Not just magic, but everything is based on the balance of these four powers. Think magic and start... Starting from the door, walk clockwise around the walls of my room three times. Don't lose track now. I forgot about this part. <laughs> Very good. Ipso facto meanie mo, magico. Chrono learns to use magic. Moral learns to use magic. Luca learns to use magic, and she will set everything on fire. So, fortified with magic, wanna try it out? Alright. Lightning. Now we can get the rest of our techs. So the thing about Specchio is that the stronger you are, uh, the more powerful he gets as well. In fact, there's a form that he only has if all of your party members are level 99, I believe. Oh, I have one. Grr. That was most embarrassing. Harmph. Don't make a habit out of this. Here, this is for you. I think he gives you one of each tabs. Specchio Special Refresher Set. One magic tab, five ethers. Oh, whatever. I am the master of war. Whew. Sometimes I scare myself. You guys are too much. Bring newcomers to me. That's the biggest toy I've ever seen. Hey, you're not alive, are ya? You've got great strength. However, since I can't measure your inner character, I can't give any magic to ya. But your laser weapons will suffice. They can inflict shadow-type damage.
Hey. Well, well, people who lived long ago all enjoyed such powers. Now, I know you're itching to go ripping back and forth through time, but first you need to return to your own era. And you must hurry. The longer you remain here, the harder it will be to change what that which must be changed. Stop by whenever you're in the area. That gate leads to 1999 AD. It leads to the day of Lavos. Go there only if you're looking to achieve a shorter lifespan. Lavos will help you leave this mortal coil. Go to Protodome? No. Go to Mystic Mountain, 65 million BC. No, not yet. Go to Medina Village, 1000 AD. So I guess the implication is that someone traveled from 65 million BC and 1000 AD with a bigger group of four or three and ended up here. Which is why those portals are here, but not the ones that we've already accessed. What's up, guys? Hey, did you people just come out of the closet? Get out of here. Who do you think you are coming and going out of our closet at all hours? Scram. You folks hungry? You can use magic. Magic using humans supposedly perished long ago. Medina Village was founded by the ancestors of the mystics who lost a war to the human beings. Most mystics hold a grudge against humans. Be careful. Hey, wait a minute. There's an odd man who lives, lives near the cave in the mountains to the west. You might enjoy a chat with him. Thanks. Why are you being so nice? Mystics aren't supposed to get along with humans. Humans fought the mystics over 400 years ago. My motto is forgive and forget, but not many seem to agree with me. Nothing here to sell the humans. Get out of here. You know it, you know it all, humans. Teach him a lesson, boss. Yeah, if you leave the guy alone, alive. Got the boss. Beasts! Alright, I'll sell something to you. By the way, he sells everything for an insane amount of money. That said, these are some very good pieces of equipment. <laughs> uh, if you actually go to the trouble of grinding the money to get them early. Actually, never mind. Full tonic, he's charging 65,000 coins for. <laughs> Ha! You think I'm gonna cut my prices for a human? Oh, I didn't know you could equip from the uh, shop menu. That's cool. Alright, I have to equip uh, the other equipment. for humans. Scat. Oh, pipe down, okay? Get him. Help! 
200 G per night. Wouldn't you like to rest? No. God, no. Not in this town. A beast lives in a cave in the mountains of the west. Only magic attacks can harm it. Those who, do not pa those who do not possess magic will find it difficult to sneak by. Well, I better get back to work and tidy up before Ozzy the Eighth finds me. I've got two magic tabs. Who can use those and who needs those the most? Um, oh, it doesn't actually say, which is very annoying. Chrono's magic is the worst. We should probably give them to him. All the tabs are just going to Chrono. That's 11. Ozzy the Eighth uses his ancestor's fame to boss us around. This work is brutal. I'm Ozzy the Eighth, Medina Village's leader. My ancestors served the Great Magus. Oh, Great Magus? Why didn't you simply exterminate the human race 400 years ago? Spoilers, he's not a monster like the rest of you assholes. Chrono, what's with that weird chanting? Hut, Sir Magus. Four hundred years have passed since Magus commanded the mystics and waged war against the humans. When Lavos is awakened, all humans are doomed. <laughs> as soon as Magus's creation, the mighty Lavos, awakens from his long sleep, the human race is doomed. Long ago, the almighty Magus brought forth the all-powerful Lavos. So these guys revere Magus, who we've heard about in 600 AD, and he supposedly is the one who summons Lavos in 1999 AD. Interesting. Mid ether. That's another chest up here. Nope. Instead, we just have this pyramid of power again with Square Enix and their friggin' triangles. There's nothing here. I believe in the DS version, this is where one of the um, extra areas is. Uh, hello, can I can I interest you in a weapon? Red Katana, that's five more power, four, three, that's not really worth it. And the rest of these we have already. That said, we can do it two more Titan Vests. Weapons. If there weren't evil in this world, there would be no need for weapons. What a sad state of affairs. Really? Well, you know where to find me should the need arise. Grand Cave. 
death to the Mystic's enemies. Womp. happening. I'm blaming the computer, and only the computer. Gin bottle. Hmm. Oh, I'm not doing much damage to that thing, am I? Ooh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Much better. Boop, 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 boop. Alright. I'm exhausted. This is gonna be the last area I do, though. See, this cave is kind of like a tutorial in and of itself because all these enemies are very strong against physical attacks. So you need to magic all of them. Yeah, you're really not supposed to use physical attacks in this area.
That's bullshit. That one in the corner should have been taken out, too. Do it if he's not in the party. Pretty sure the DS version lets you. Just since you could switch at it any time anyway. Wow, I'm really, uh, not doing well here. I don't want to be here. And of course, just like everything, they don't take damage. I guess that's just how this entire dungeon works. I am going to be doing that a lot now. I like how Chrono faces away from the enemies after that attack. Like he's trying to be badass. <clears throat> Though I don't know if that happens every time you do it. Oh, I'm ready to stop now. So I do have to waste more time with this. Yeah, this is kind of a bummer. Just because of how long it takes to cast spells, it, it feels like the, the game starts slowing down a bit now. Magic Scarf. Magic plus two. Well, Chrono could certainly use that. Why, why are you getting caught? All right, there you go.
Yeah, this this whole cave is kind of a tutorial on using magic. Because most of the enemies here you can't damage that much normally. It's not like this from here on out, it's just because this is such a magic-heavy dungeon, the game kind of slows to a crawl. Because you can't just pick what pick moves and use them. You gotta go through a menu like every time. And the combo moves with the uh that you can do the the fire spin does not do as much damage as normal fire moves would do. Which is kind of annoying. So you pretty much the big problem comes down to the fact that you have to fight enemies one at a time here. That's the real issue. Also, the fact that they put a fucking uh, sealed chest in this dungeon, meaning you have to come back to it at some point. That's such a kick in the teeth. I believe this might be the- Fuck! I believe this might be close to the end now. Death to the Mystic's enemies! Yep, here's the monster I was thinking of before. The Hecran. I believe he might have some kind of gimmick, I'm not sure though. Aside from the fact that he can only be hit by magic. Very interesting that Chrono and Marl's uh, magic attack says attack using their element, but Luca's says fire magic one enemy instead. That might be, uh, yeah, that's pretty beefy. Go ahead, try it. Oh, fuck, no. Yeah, now he retaliates. Oh. I just gotta wait for him to get out of that stance. Brief counterattack break. There we go. Yes, indeed. That's that's two games in the past month that have used that phrase. Both go ahead up. Oh, okay, we're going into a counterattack. Again, that's something that um 
for some reason, that's just a phrase that Ted Woolsey liked to put in his translations. I don't know if there was a re reason behind it, but it's a very re common reoccurring phrase. Beef counterattack break. All right. Wait, what? Oh, okay, never mind. That wasn't Tidal Wave. And he's down. They give 10 tech points. If only the great Magus who brought forth Lavos 400 years ago had destroyed the human race, the world would have belonged to us mystics. Ugh. In the Middle Ages, Magus created Lavos, the destroyer of this planet's future. If we go to the Middle Ages and take out Magus, can we change history? We could use the gate at the fairgrounds. Jump in? Hell yeah. Boop. And you could go back in there from there if you want. Oh, you're just in time. One tab invest. It's my finest work, the ultimate in defense for my daughter. Hey, Luca. I'd like to see more of her. I've been making items she'd like. Speed plus two, fire guard up. And it gives her one more defense. Not bad. Chrono, I owe you one. You saved my skin back there. Man, I was was I up the creek. I went off on a buying trip and ended up getting jailed with a bunch of thieves. The officials plan to execute me without a trial. What's gotten into them? We're forever in your debt. Thank you again. Hope my dad never hears about this. Not ten many eaters. Ha <laughs> hey. To dad. Working hard? But, of course, we're right. Y yeah Well, alright. Chrono, I'm in your debt. Now, Chrono, down to business. Please buy whatever you like. Ooh. A slightly better sword with magic plus two. Thanks. Chrono! Chrono, you had me so worried. I heard you were to be executed, dear. Stop scaring me like that. Hi. Luca, we hardly see you these days. I've been kind of busy. Don't let life pass you by, dear. And say hi to your parents. Yeah, she reacts to every one of your party members. Anyway, it is now 3 hours and 20 minutes. It is time to end the stream. I'm exhausted.
Uh, before I go, do I want to host anyone directly? And the answer is... Not really. It's the same stuff as normal. It's the same- Oh, actually, Cyrus is playing uh, Destiny 2, so I'll host them. Uh, and Vinny started streaming stuff, and he's streaming a Castlevania game, holy shit. Oh man, I'm totally tuning into that. Alright, thanks for coming, guys. Thank you, thank you so much. Get, uh, yeah, I will get some rest. <laughs> You'll have a great evening. Uh, hopefully I'll get one more stream in tomorrow, from 7 till 10. Whatever time I miss out on will not be extended, because I can't go past 10 on Thursdays. But yeah, you guys have a great evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.